Hi, friends. Thank you so much for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film Long Legs. The marketing around Long Legs was incredible. I mean, the trailer was fantastic and the buzz hyped it up where everybody got excited. And then sometimes when that happens, the audience just have an expectation. And when you walk out, you're highly disappointed. Now, I'm not saying that I was, in fact, quite the opposite, but a movie like this has such a slow burn. And it also has an element to the film that you have to really buy into. And if you don't buy into it, then it's just going to be terrible for you. It is, again, slow. It is that ominous dread. And you're literally just trying to put the puzzle pieces together. And, and they're not always going to fit. And it's sometimes probably not gonna make a whole lot of sense, but at the same time, uh, at least for me, I had a good time. I thought it was fresh, I thought it was new. I, it, it felt just like something you, you just don't get to see very often. And that was what was the fun for me for that movie. I could see a whole separate type of audience that just will trash it and throw it away. Um, it's going to divide horror fans. It's just one of those movies. That's why I think every horror fan is going to see this movie. I mean, without a doubt, I don't even have to say anything. You're going to see it and you're going to have an opinion, which is why I'm starting this conversation because I would really love to hear your opinions on this. I like these type of films. I like uh, a horror film that just kind of has that, that feeling, that that just kind of makes you feel kind of dirty and, and uh, you know, just <laughs> doesn't make you feel right. It's unsettling, and the, which is the whole point, right? So, you know, I before, I, you can't, like, talk about this film, really, without giving anything away, which I never do. I at least try not to. And all I can say is the cast is pretty amazing. Um, you know, we won't even talk about Nicolas Cage, but uh, it... Yeah, it's it's a performance worth seeing. I have a feeling that a lot of audiences are not going to like this movie. And I can already see, you know, where it's not going to get its fair shake. I don't know why. I just, I just feel that's what it's going to be. Um, but it's beautifully shot. It's perfectly set in the 90s. And it's, you know, he, Osgood... Um, DP uses the, uh, a wide angle lens that just gives that atmosphere and that feeling of just, I don't know, you're in it. And it's a great experience, at least for me it was. So I don't know. I, I mean, I could go on and on about this thing and I don't want to because of the fact that you should experience it and you should, it should be fresh and it should be, you know, but... I also am <laughs> realized that people that watch these videos actually have already seen it. So I, you know, I don't want to give those things away, but at least I'm giving kind of the idea of what you're walking into. It is not necessarily uh, one of those horror films that just, you know, it, it's, it's new. It's not like Tarot or like any sequel that, or remake of something. Again, this is what makes it unique is that it does kind of feel fresh. Um, I don't find it scary. I don't think it's scary. It's kind of in the same vein as maybe Seven. You know, it just kind of has that that moody feel. And that's a good thing. That it puts you into it. And that's why I like this movie a lot. Um, you know, definitely watch it again. This, there's probably a lot of things that I probably missed the first time that um, I would like to to kind of revisit and see what it, you know, if those puzzle pieces landed a little bit easier for me but yeah i i think it's uh i think it's a must watch especially for horror fans um and if you're not a horror fan this is probably not for you um yeah my wife would hate this one so uh yeah one i was i was thinking i was like gosh i wish i could have watched this when i was a kid you know this probably would have cut really deep <laughs> when i was a kid so i a pretty uh, I'm kind of like, oh man, 
because you know those one horror movies that when you grow up, you're always thinking about it. There's always something about that one horror film that that really cut so deep that it just was terrifying for you. This one, if you were like 12 or 13, this would probably like be that one that just kind of sits with you, especially if you're watching it by yourself and, you know, I don't know. I, I'm very curious to see what your thoughts are on this. I, again, I know some of you are going to love it. Some of you are going to hate it. And, and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I uh, just love to have that conversation with you. I love to know why um, this film didn't resonate with you or why it did. And uh, that's the fun of doing what we're doing. All right. I appreciate your time. And thank you for going on this film journey with me. And until next time.